All right. Hey there, everybody. Mr. Mark with you. Today we're going to look at Bernoulli's principle. That is, what happens to the pressure of a fluid when the fluid is moving. And this is a little party trick that you can do at your house, and you can take your friend's money if you kind of you know hustle them correctly. But I've got two sheets of paper that are just hanging here, and if I had a free hand, you could you know, I could just hold them in my hand. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to blow air really fast um, through a straw so that it's going as fast as I can get it to go between these two pieces of paper. And so stop and think for a second, what direction are the pieces of paper going to move when I blow air really quickly in between them? So let's try it out. Uh, let's let that settle for a second. There it goes. So when you blow air between those two pieces of paper, the two pieces of paper move together. What's happening is that the fast moving air exerts less pressure than the still air. And so the pressure in between the two sheets of paper due to the quickly moving fluid is less than the pressure on the outside where the fluid is still still. And so the two pieces of paper are pushed together. Try that again. party trick that you can show your friends. Because people think that because the fluid is moving fast, it's going to push things hard, but that's not true. It's pushing outwards with less force than the air pressure on either side of the pieces of paper. I have another demo to show you right over here. Let's kind of adjust this a little bit. So here is my second demonstration of basically the same principle. And let's see if I can kind of get this up a little bit. So you'll notice on top that there is a tube and there's a straw hose kind of thing attached to that tube. I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna blow air quickly through that. And it's gonna go through that tube. And then right here in the middle, the tube gets narrower. So remember from last time that when a pipe gets narrower, the fluid has to go faster in order for fluid flow continuity to be obeyed. And then it gets wider again. So notice the tubes underneath each of those little parts of the pipe have water filled, um, filled to the same level. The one in the middle is attached to where the pipe gets smaller. And so what I want you to do is as I blow air through this pipe, and the air is going to go from here through there through there, watch the water level in the pipes below. So let me get this thing set up so you can see it. Okay. So I'm going to blow air through this little hose here. We're going to observe what happens to the water level. So did you notice that the water level and the tube in the middle went up, whereas the other two, the water level went down just a hair? So the reason that the water level here goes up is because the fast moving pressure uh, fluid through this part right here does not exert as much pressure as the slow moving fluid over here. And so the air pressure here is really small. There's less air pushing down on this part right here, so the water level goes up. Let's do that one more time. Bernoulli's principle at work. So imagine just for a second that this fast moving air is air caused by a storm, like a tornado or something like that. You can see how the roof of the house could blow off because the air pressure inside would cause the roof, like the top of the water here, to be pushed upwards. And that's one of the main um, reasons that high velocity storms can cause damage to your house. So today we're gonna learn all about Bernoulli's principle um, it's all about conservation of energy. And so keep these two demos in mind as you're going through everything today. Till next time, ta-ta.